Hello, and I thought I'd put this little video together about what visual recoil is and how it's changing because there appears to be some confusion as to what visual recoil means. So we're going to go on the test range and I'm going to be using the AK-12 because it's the simplest gun and it's the one everybody has so everybody knows how it works. And I'm going to be using the Cobra sight because it's one of the easiest to see. Later on we'll be putting a laser sight on as well. So visual recoil is simply the way that the sight actually moves. So if you look at this you can see the whole body of the sight jerks from side to side and the reticle stays fixed in the middle. Unfortunately this is just a pure visual effect. It's not saying where the gun is actually recoiling to. It's just a little graphical thing they've put on. So as you can see reticle lurches from side to side but that's not where the gun is shooting if you look at the pattern that has no correlation to the amount of side to side movement that the reticle is doing now here I've got the laser sight turned on it's not very easy to see because the red laser sight is pretty poor but if you can see it you'll notice that the red laser sight stays pretty true to where the gun is aiming but your optical sight will dance around it so they're never really aimed at the same place so this is really hard to see with a red laser so later in the video I'll do a side by side comparison with the new version of this recoil and zoom in and slow it down so you can see it all better but essentially the red dot sight and the laser sight don't follow each other so let's take a look at the changes on CTE and the first thing you'll notice is that the red dot is actually not moving with the sight anymore. The sight is moving around but the reticle is staying true to where the gun is aimed. And this is going to take a bit of getting used to because if you're used to aiming with the ring then it's a bit tricky but the reticle moving independently to the scope is pretty true to real life because that's not attached to the glass it's an image projected onto it so they do move around now if we turn the laser sight on and on the CT servers I can use the green one you can see that the green dot of the laser sight says stuck in the center of the reticle over the optical sight so they now match up properly but we can look at that a bit closer up side by side so both guns are behaving in exactly the same way, they're shooting at exactly the same place, but the scope is acting differently. The effect's only really noticeable when you slow it down and zoom in. On the left hand side is what you get in the released version of the game, and you can see that the whole frame of the sight moves, the reticle moves with it, but the laser sight stays firmly locked on to where the gun is aimed. On the right hand side, which is the CTE version, you'll see that even though the scope frame is moving the reticle is staying fixed in position at where the gun is aimed so the reticle and the laser sight are pretty much locked together so the reticle is actually pointing where the bullets are going so you may be thinking well this sight's only off by a little bit but just look how much the red dot sight and the optic sight are off on the live server. I'll put an arrow on to show you where the actual red dot is aiming. That is where the gun is aimed and that is where your bullets are supposed to be going. But look at where the reticle of the optic sight is. That's a massive difference between where the gun is aiming and where the sight is pointed. And this is at pretty close range. Imagine that at long range and you're trying to hit somebody, you're keeping the reticle on them but that's not where the gun is firing. On the CTE side you can see that the green dot of the laser sight is in the middle of the reticle of the optical sight. Now the reticle may not be in the middle of the frame but it is now following where the gun is actually aimed. So visual recoil is just the animation of the gun firing and kicking and what that was doing was moving the sight away from where the gun was actually aimed. What they've done to fix it is separate the reticle from that animation. 
so the sight's reticle will now be pointing at where the gun is aimed even if the sight is moving around from the animation. Hope that makes it clear and thanks for watching.